A massive manhunt is underway in Austria as police search for those behind a suspected Islamist terror attack in Vienna. Four people were killed when at least one gunman opened fire in the city centre. Another 17 people were wounded. The attack happened yesterday evening as people gathered in bars and restaurants hours before the enforcement of new coronavirus restrictions. The Interior Minister Karl Nehammer has described one of the gunmen who was shot dead by police as an Islamic State sympathiser. Another possible attacker is still being hunted and a suspect has been arrested. People have been urged to avoid central Vienna as leaders around the world have condemned the attack. This report is from Mark Lebel. Austrian police order people to take cover. News of an incident emerged just before 8 last night with reports of several gunmen armed with rifles opening fire in six locations. One witness recalls what he saw. We didn't know what was going on, to be honest. Um, the only thing we heard of was the firecrackers, the sound of firecrackers. Um, and then we only saw what happened sort of afterwards. Um, you know, we saw their policemen in the street next to our restaurant. We saw their ambulance, um, you know, lining up next to our restaurant. We saw there were victims um, who seemed um, harmed in a way. It unfolded in a vibrant district of Vienna, opposite a synagogue which was closed at the time. It's not clear if that was a target. It comes a night before a new 8 p.m. coronavirus curfew kicks in for cafes and restaurants there. Austria's chancellor has called it a repulsive terror attack. We are living here in Austria and particularly in Vienna through difficult hours. We are victims of an appalling terrorist attack in our capital, which is still ongoing. I want to thank the emergency services. They are risking their lives to secure our safety. Boris Johnson has tweeted that he is deeply shocked by the terrible attacks, telling the people of Austria the UK stands united with them against terror. Police are still searching for at least one suspect still at large. They're urging people to stay at home or avoid public transport if they're out on the streets. Austria's interior minister described this as the hardest day for the country for several years. As the manhunt continues for at least one heavily armed and dangerous attacker, the special forces are also looking beyond the capital. Mark Lobel, BBC News. And let's speak now to Eric Fry, who is senior editor at Der Standard newspaper, and he is in Vienna. Eric, thanks very much for your time this morning. Uh, are we any clearer this morning about the number of suspects that police are looking for? No, we're not. Uh, what we know is that the reports that came out last night that there may be six attackers on the way was probably wrong. Um, and, and, the, and the likelihood is that it was a sole, a single attacker who was who was doing the the, the shooting yesterday? Uh, uh, whether there is a whether there is a complice who is now uh, actually armed and at, and at large is unclear. But the police um, statements and the statements of the Interior Minister rather sound that they think it's just one person, but they like to find out more about his background and the people and his network. So the people who have been also detained this morning and uh, questioned seem to be not involved in the shooting like last night directly, but seem to have have contact with him uh, and, and his Islamist background. Mm, so the, the authorities clearly have some level of information about the uh, gunman who was shot dead, uh, given what they've said this morning. How, have they been able to search any, any properties or carry out any other searches which have led them to, to make this statement? Yes, they will. Immediately, somehow, they found, they identified the person. They found his apartment, which is in, the, in, the, in a working class district in Vienna. They broke it open. And there, apparently, they found signs for his uh, sympathy for the Islamic State, for radical Islamism. And what they know now is he's 20 years old. He has a criminal record, so he has been known to the police. Uh, but this is about this is about all that we know. We don't know where he got his guns and his weapons from, and we don't know whether he has been actually involved in 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 in, in any kind of political activity before. Tell us more, Eric, about the area where this attack began last night. Well, it was apparently the first shooting happened right in front of the main synagogue in Vienna. 
so it seems like that this was actually the target. But, but this area is also one of the main party and club and cafe districts and going out districts in Vienna. And last night it was full because this is the last evening before the curfew kicks in. And uh, the weather was nice, the weather was warm, so there were hundreds, thousands of people on the streets and in, in, in cafes and bars. And he, uh, the shooting happened right in this vicinity. So he went from one place to the next, or he was running or escaping, shooting at various places. And all this was a place with a lot of people on the street and a lot of, uh, and, and a lot of activity. Uh, he didn't go, he didn't get very far. Basically, 15 minutes, 20 minutes after the first emergency call, police was there and they and they and they stopped him and they sh and they shot him dead. So the police intervention came very fast and saved probably a lot of lives. Okay, Eric, uh, thank you for your thoughts this morning, Eric Fry, uh, senior editor at Just Standard newspaper in Vienna for us.